Godzilla vs. Kong Battle Rundown It is the championship bout we've been waiting for. Drum rolls, please. The battle of TV's favorite monsters, Godzilla vs. Kong. In the course of this video, we'll go deep into the stats of these two monsters to find out who comes out on top. We'll explore their intelligence, strength, agility, and many more to reveal the ultimate monster. Before we begin, please don't forget to smash that like button. Intimidation For animals, intimidation is a necessary skill for survival. They usually display some sort of antagonist behaviors, which often involves tests of strength or threat display to make them appear large or more physically fit. And these monsters are no different. Both Godzilla and Kong have their own unique display that allows them to gain resources even before an actual fight begins. Godzilla uses his dorsal plates as a form of intimidation to other titans, and this is usually followed by a raging roar that's capable of frightening small creatures. Kong, on the other hand, uses chest pounding as a form of intimidation to other creatures, similar to gorillas. However, it is almost impossible to see Godzilla getting intimidated here. He's faced worse intimidation tests, so Godzilla has the edge here. However, Kong is no coward and is likely not to get intimidated by Godzilla's dorsal plates or roar. Strength Even though strength is not everything, it's quite obvious that Godzilla is visibly stronger and larger than Kong. While it is true that Kong has obviously gotten much bigger since the movie Skull Island, he's still not as big as Godzilla. Yet, when it comes to strength, Godzilla's use of it is a little limited, especially in comparison to Kong. He whacks opponents with his tail, tackles his target, and rips open jaws. Although Kong is smaller and weaker as compared to Godzilla, he can utilize his strength better due to his larger limbs. Kong can punch, tackle, grapple, and kick his opponent. That means he's better equipped for fighting. When Godzilla fought Hidora, we saw how the new King of the Titans struggled to match his opponent as Hidora could bite and grapple him without trying too hard. So it's possible to conclude that Godzilla does not exactly fare well in a physical brawl against opponents with a larger reach. Kong's Cleverness versus Godzilla's Atomic Strength Unlike Godzilla, Kong doesn't have atomic breath, but he does have the brains to back that up. Godzilla's atomic breath is powerful enough to blast Hidora, kill a Muto, and when he is in his burning Godzilla form, he can obliterate anything that's standing in his way. While Kong has nothing of this sort in his arsenal, he can counter it. In the trailer, we see Kong wielding an axe, and even though we don't know the origin of the axe, the blade appears to have been made using one of Godzilla's fins giving it the ability to soak up the atomic breath and reverse it back at Godzilla. That's some crazy feat right there. However, this is not a new feat for Kong. In Skull Island, we saw how Kong turned trees into bats and chains into weapons against skull crawlers, proving that Kong's ingenuity and planning make him a dangerous adversary towards titans who are stronger than him. However, that doesn't mean Kong is all of a sudden immune from Godzilla's breath. What that simply means is that it gives him the chance to counter it as we saw clearly in the trailer. Should Godzilla hit Kong with his atomic breath twice, or even once, we might be looking at an ape toast. You have to admit, that was a good one. Ape toast. Durability. We saw Kong take lots of punishment in the movie Skull Island, but we also saw him bleed and how those damages cost him. However, Godzilla, on the other hand, is a freaking walking tank. I mean, the King of Monsters literally took the Oxygen Destroyer, a weapon we are told was designed to kill all Earth-based life, and came out with nothing more than a scratch. Godzilla took on repeated beatings from Hidora, survived the nuclear meltdown caused by his own body, and still survived. Now, how the hell do you counter that? Kong's skin is thinner, his body is less padded with muscle, and his body is far more fragile than Godzilla. That's not to say that he is made of glass, but in a durability test with Godzilla, he does not stand a chance. If the battle does eventually come down to the last person to go down, Godzilla is winning this one without a wink. Speed 
The movie Godzilla King of Monsters is the first time we catch a glimpse of Godzilla's teeth. In the scene where he charges at Hidora, we see that Godzilla can run up to 350 miles per hour. Well, that's pretty fast. Although we haven't gotten to see the full speed of Kong yet, we can conclude that because of his human-like structure, coupled with the fact that he is more agile than Godzilla, it is possible that Kong can move at a faster rate than Godzilla. However, we should not forget that Godzilla can swim and is much faster than Kong underwater. That makes this round even. After considering all these stats of the two titans and given everything we've stated above, and this is a tough one, ultimately, Kong is likely to win. But if the fight goes longer, Godzilla will win. Yes, Kong has a slight advantage with the axe to counter Godzilla's atomic breath and is agile enough to avoid Godzilla's physical power. However, if Godzilla is able to blast Kong once or twice or whack him with his powerful tail a few times, he could inflict enough pain to put an end to the battle. In the end, the battle will come down to who can land the decisive blow. But we'll be betting our money on Kong. But you cannot rule out the King of Monsters. And now we've come to the end of our show today. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. And hit that subscribe button to keep getting more content like this.